say a powerful solar flare temporarily knocked out radio communications on Earth yesterday. The largest solar radio event ever recorded. More solar flares, more northern lights, but possibly more power outages, grounded flights, and trouble with our electronics. Bigger the storm, bigger the disturbance. Our Earth is intricately connected to the sun, serving as the ultimate source of energy that sustains life on our planet. Every facet of our ecosystem, from plants to oceans and climate, relies on the sun's consistent functioning. Yet should anything disrupt its stability, the ramifications could be dire. Now such an event seems imminent. NASA has uncovered an impending colossal solar storm, one that might hold the power to reset the course of humanity. Solar storms, also known as space weather, arise from disturbances on the sun, affecting Earth and other planets in our solar system. Originating from the sun's outer layer, the corona, these storms stem from intense bursts of radiation linked to the sun's magnetic activity. They erupt when the accumulated magnetic energy of the solar atmosphere undergoes sudden release. The result? Colossal eruptions of plasma and magnetic fields akin to millions of hydrogen bombs detonating simultaneously. These eruptions, known as coronal mass ejections CMEs, discharge billions of tons of solar material into space at millions of miles per hour. While formidable, these storms are often predictable, offering subtle cues prior to impact. Telescopes equipped with specialized filters observe the sun safely, capturing images across various wavelengths – visible light, ultraviolet, and X-rays – to study its diverse atmospheric layers. Satellites like the Solar Dynamics Observatory, the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, and the Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory continually monitor the sun, providing high-resolution imagery and data on solar flares, CMEs, and other solar activities. Another technique involves delving into the sun's interior by analyzing surface vibrations caused by sound waves, providing insights into its internal structure and behavior. Instruments measure the sun's magnetic field strength and structure, offering predictive cues for solar flares or CMEs. Combining observations and data into models aids in forecasting the speed, trajectory, and potential impact of CMEs heading toward Earth facilitating preparedness for an impending solar storm. Entities such as NASA and NOAA operate centers dedicated to monitoring space weather. The Space Weather Prediction Center SWPC, gathers data from multiple sources and issues forecasts, alerts, and warnings about potential solar storms. Despite these advancements, comprehending the full evolution of a solar storm remains a relatively recent endeavor. The Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory mission by NASA, with the spacecraft Stereo A and Stereo B positioned strategically in orbit around the Sun, provide a groundbreaking 3D view of solar activity. Stereo A's observations of a significant coronal mass ejection allowed scientists to trace its movement and changes as it traversed space. This spacecraft's prime positioning enabled continual monitoring of the CME's evolution and trajectory towards Earth. Stereo A's recorded video showcased the CME's transformation into a towering wall of plasma as it interacted with solar wind particles, aiding in understanding its dynamics and evolution. Accurate prediction of the CME's arrival at Earth stems from close observation of its movement and speed, critical for space weather forecasting and preparedness. Estimating the CME's mass via brightness assessment in the video provides valuable information on its energy and potential impact on Earth's magnetosphere. Yet tracking coronal mass ejections through space poses significant challenges. Despite their initial brightness upon eruption, CMEs rapidly dim as they move away from the Sun, becoming exceedingly faint by the time they reach distances near the orbit of Venus, approximately one billion times fainter than the full Moon's surface, rendering them challenging to track. Scientists acknowledge the necessity of identifying active regions beneath the solar surface before they erupt as sunspots. This pre-eruption identification, occurring a day or two beforehand, offers further insights into solar activity, allowing some anticipation of impending events. Presently, a significant anomaly is unfolding within the Sun. The count of sunspots has surged dramatically, potentially increasing tenfold in a mere week. 
These dark areas on the Sun's surface associated with intense magnetic activity typically serve as sources for solar flares and CMEs. However, the current unprecedented activity poses a new and threatening scenario for Earth. Heightened solar activity has led to multiple daily coronal mass ejections, indicating an immensely active phase for the Sun. NASA's projections hint at a potential collision between one of these CMEs and Earth within the final week of November. Nevertheless, comprehensive analysis of CME trajectories remains underway to confirm this likelihood. The imminent concern lies in the potential consequences if CME particles penetrate Earth's atmosphere, potentially triggering a geomagnetic storm. These disturbances in Earth's magnetic field induced by solar eruptions occur when solar material carrying its magnetic field interacts with Earth's field. When a CME with a magnetic field opposing Earth's collides with our magnetosphere, disruptions ensue. These storms range in intensity, categorized on a scale developed by NOAA, from minor G1 to extreme G5, their impact varying based on power and orientation. Frequency fluctuates across the solar cycle, with minor G1 storms occurring more often, around 1700 times per solar cycle, while the more potent G4 storms are less frequent, around 100 times, and the extreme G5 storms are rarest, approximately 4 times per solar cycle, each affecting Earth differently. Minor storms cause slight fluctuations in Earth's magnetic field, resulting in minor effects like power grid fluctuations, minor satellite disturbances, and auroras at higher latitudes. However, extreme storms possess considerable impact potential. They can intensify auroras visible at lower latitudes caused by discharged particles from the solar wind and ionosphere trapped in Earth's magnetosphere. During periods of low solar activity, these charged particles energize gases, emitting light and forming auroras primarily near the poles. When a CME triggers a geomagnetic storm, increased particle penetration into Earth's atmosphere leads to brighter, more widespread auroras visible at latitudes further from the poles. However, the real concern lies in the potential havoc wrought by higher-intensity geomagnetic storms on critical infrastructures and systems. Geomagnetically induced currents during these storms can disrupt power grids, causing fluctuations and outages. These currents, generated by lengthy conductors like power lines, can damage transformers and electrical components, resulting in blackouts and power supply disruptions. High-frequency radio and radar systems may face disruptions, affecting aviation navigation and emergency communication systems. Satellites in orbit might experience increased surface charging, impacting electronics and operations, risking malfunctions or failure. Intensified atmospheric swelling during these storms heightens drag on satellites in low Earth orbit, complicating tracking and management and increasing collision risks. The looming question remains, will this storm inflict substantial damage or could it pass without cataclysmic consequences? Share your thoughts in the comments below.